Welcome back to the fourth video of this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching the videos and for all your support. In this video we will proceed to model the toilet lid, so without any further ado, let's get to it. This is the part that we're going to focus on right now, so go ahead and hide the toilet seat. And then with polygon selection from the toilet bowl we will extract the same selection. So from this, double click to this polygon while holding control and we will now detach this uh, geometry. So go ahead and click detach, make sure that detach as clone is selected and rename it to toilet lid. Then you can go ahead and hide the toilet bowl, so we just have the toilet lid geometry. Now go ahead and set the pivot to the center of the object and we will move the object right here to correspond with the reference. Then you can go back to the modify panel and with uh, edge selection we will select these four edges right here and those four edges on the opposite side and then we are going to bridge them so we have this gap right now then we are going to select the middle edges and we are going to connect them with one segment so go ahead and click ok now take border selection same as before click on the border here and click on cap to fill this polygon Now with edge selection we are going to take these four edges right here and we are going to align them on the Y axis. After that while holding shift we can drag them so we will extrude the edge. And now we'll go from the top view so we can check how much we need to extrude it. Just a quick check on the hull model before we proceed and we will move these edges right here and then we will scale them on one axis so they have the same flow as on the toilet seat. Then we are going to take the border with border selection and we are going to scale the border outwards while holding shift so we extrude the edges right here and we will get something of the form of this and then we will move that downwards a bit. Now if we go from the side we can see that we will have a tiny bit of adjustment to make so we are just going to pull this edge right here down and we will scale it inward a bit so you can just play with the setting, feel, feel free to play with the settings, don't feel intimidated by anything, just make that as it looks. So then we are going to take these vertices and put them a bit down, so they correspond with, with uh, the reference image. We will also put down this uh, border right here, so the border will be out of our way and proceed to set these edges according to the reference image. So for now we will set them roughly, don't go into any details yet. Here I'm trying to select only these edges and then we are going to delete them, delete these two edges and then we are going to delete the center of the edges so we have somewhat of a free form now, so we have only the 
the outer form of the polygons and we're going to easily set them as on the reference image so just drag this up a bit then scale it down maybe just feel free to play with the settings that you have and now here we are going to put these two edges right here I mean these vertices right here and now we can delete this part and let's just think about what we're going to do next So now I'm going to breach these two edges right here. Then we are going to connect them in the center with one segment. Then we can go into polygon selection and select half of the model and delete it so we can later use symmetry. Now Take swift loop tool and add an edge right here. Then we're going to select this polygon, extrude it a bit on the back, and then the bottom one extrude it also. So we have this kind of form. Now I think that I will delete both of these polygons and then we will extrude this edge right here and snap it on the center of that vertex and we are going to make sure that both of these edges correspond so delete this polygon also so we don't have any anything left on the top just tweak it a bit so it looks like this maybe tweak this also and this vertex right here let's just check if it looks good and now we are going to apply a symmetry modifier on the x-axis so now here we can see in the back that we have a hole which we'll need to fix so just go ahead and grab the vertices right here and make sure they are snapped on the on the zero on x axis so you can just move them and then after we apply the modifier the symmetry modifier we won't have any problems so go ahead and collapse that to editable poly So after we've done, we are going to continue working on the top now. So just go ahead and with border selection, select the top of the model and just uh, click on cap to fill the polygon. So we only have one polygon. After that, we can isolate the object. So isolate the selection. Let's just double check the model. Let's just check the topology if it has any weird things going on. And then we can select the middle polygon that we've just created. So with polygon selection, select this polygon and inset that polygon for about 2 centimeters. After that we are going to take both of these vertices and with scale we are going to scale them on one axis. So we have more space to work and then we are going to start and connect these vertices so just follow the tutorial on which vertices to connect up to these two vertices then we are going to take these edges so the middle selection and connect them with one segment then we are going to just connect these two vertices right here and also these two vertices in the front. So now we will need a loop that will go around this way. So that, that could be done with also selecting 
these polygons, this selection, and then insetting that selection for about two centimeters again. Or maybe go 2.2 centimeters and then click OK. Then we can see here that we've managed to make a chaos out of the topology. So we are going to need to delete some edges right here. So go ahead, select these two edges and delete them. And then we will select these three edges on each side and we can delete them. Just remember to delete edges with Ctrl plus Backspace. Now we can see that these vertices are not aligned. So we will need to align them. First of all, let's just select all of the top vertices right here. And then we're going to align them on the Y axis. Then let's just quickly view them from the side. So we will also need to align them on the Z axis. So click here. And we will take the same steps for these vertices right here. And also for these vertices. Now if you think about this, um, if we mess with the front, we might mess up the geometry because uh, this has a flow. But on the back, we won't be able to see any changes, so we are just going to uh, let these uh, vertices be as they are for now. So just uh, ignore these vertices for now and only align this part right here without the bottom vertices of course. Now we will need to proceed to connect these vertices right here. And then we check for this kind of thing so they, we can select these vertices and move them up a bit so they have a flow with the geometry. Now here on the back side we will need to set the edges to flow so go ahead and connect these two vertices right here. After that we are going to grab the swift loop tool and we are going to add an edge right here. Now go ahead and switch to edge selection. And that's going to keep the edge that we've made selected so just deselect this edge right here and control backspace to delete every other selected edge. So now we can connect these two vertices and delete this edge right here. Also we will need to connect like that on this side so take a swift loop, put a loop somewhere around here and deselect these uh, edges right here also on the bottom and then control backspace to delete everything else and just select these two vertices and connect them then delete this edge so go in the front view now and with polygon selection select half of the model and delete that and now we can add a symmetry modifier just uh, whenever you add symmetry modifier always be sure to check the thresholds and then you can collapse to editable poly So now we can select these edges, but uh, when I better think, maybe, because we are going to add a shell modifier, maybe it would be better if we delete these polygons right here. So go ahead and select polygon selection and delete these polygons right here. Now we can also delete half of the model and just apply symmetry again, collapse to editable poly and then we can proceed with chamfering the model. So go ahead and take this edge loop right here, this one and also these two on the back. And 
now we are going to add a quad chamfer with amount of uh, something about 0.65 centimeters and the tension of 0.5 so that looks okay at least for now just quickly take another look around and then we can proceed to add some thickness so go ahead in the modifier list and choose the shell modifier we are going to add an inner amount of about 0.75 centimeters and then we are going to convert this object to editable poly again after that we are going to select these edges right here and then in the front also and we are going to apply a standard tri chamfer with the amount of somewhere 0.7 with two segments and then go and click OK and then we are going to select these vertices and connect them and we will delete every other edge that is in this polygon right here after that go ahead and uh, make the topology cleaner for every single chamfer that we've made at least on the left side so then you can transfer the uh, you can transfer the attributes with symmetry so now you can see I'm a bit struggling because I'm selecting loops so go ahead and try to not select loops So after we've selected and deleted every edge that we do not need, we can select with polygon selection half of the model and we will delete that and then we can proceed with chamfering these edges as I am selecting now. So keep in mind that these are the bottom edges now that we select. So just go ahead and select every edge on the bottom. Just double check the selection and then we are going to add chamfer just double checking and chamfer so go ahead and put quad chamfer somewhere on 0.3 centimeters with tension of 0.5 and one segment Now we will need to fix this topology right here in the back because in the front is okay. So let's just get these edges right here and we will connect them. After we've connected them we can move these edges um, just a tiny bit so we can get get them to have flow and then with snapping on the Z and Y axis snap them to this vertex right here so we have a straight line also this one with edge constraint you can move it down a bit something like this so we have uh, not a greater distance than this edge right here then select that edge delete it and proceed to connect the vertices like this also you will do the same thing on this side select this and this vertex and 
connect them. Then make sure that you do the same thing on the bottom side. Select these vertices and then connect them. And then we are going to take the swift loop. We are going to add a supporting edge right here and right here. So we can now connect the open vertices. Now note that I've deleted the edge because I put it while holding shift but I want the front to be flat, so I'm going to use only the swift loop. Then add a swift loop right here, add an edge loop. And then with edge constraint, just move it up and down a bit, a couple of times. And then I think that we are done for now. So let's just quickly check the inside. We're going to need to set a loop right here. So we'll take swift loop and put an edge right here and connect the open vertices like this. Then also we will need an edge right here and we connect the open vertices. And we are pretty much done for now. After that, we are going to check the selection for N-Gons and see if we have... So just go into Polygon Selection and check if you have any N-Gons right here. And selection. Select greater than four sides, click on the cursor. And we do not have any N-Gons in the model. So we are going to proceed to apply the symmetry modifier now just check the thresholds and convert to editable poly I think that we are pretty much done so now we can just check how it looks with uh, with the toilet seat also and with the toilet bowl I think it looks good we're going to also isolate all of the geometry and we will apply a normal modifier with unify normals only and then we are going to apply a smooth modifier with one smoothing group selected then just double check again and I think that now we can convert to editable poly and maybe put some turbo smooth to see how they all look together. I think that this is pretty much done, so that's going to be it for this video. I'm just going to take a closer look of what we've done for now. So you will see me rotating the model a bit, and then I will do the outro. So right here I was thinking if maybe we could do a few renders with the lid open but as it is the geometry of the lid is going to penetrate the geometry of the toilet bowl if we rotate it like that. So if you guys want to do any renders with the lid open just go ahead and edit the geometry with lattice with FFB or just pull the vertices inward a bit and just make the objects not penetrate one another so it's going to be an easy fix 
you don't have to worry about it but I think that I will just keep the model as this for now so thank you for watching the video guys that's going to be it for now and I will see you in the next video